Hey, it's the Nougat Cowboy, the Chattanooga Burger Tour. We're back on the road. Excited to be at Zarzar's Cafe, and we had a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions about coming here. Some say it's the best burger in Chattanooga, but well, that's why we're here. We're gonna find out. The history at Zarzar's is incredible. Same location since 1918, and there's a lot of history in this building. So let's go in and let's check it out. Hey, it's the Nuga Cowboy, the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper. And as you can see in front of me, two lovely burgers. My two dates for the day, actually only one date. Uh, you know who's getting the other one, JD. I always say it, but uh, he deserves a, a little burger every now and then. Uh, again, we're at Zarzar's Cafe. You know, we had so many people, so many people say that, what about Zarzar's? Have you been there yet? It's like, no, Zarzar's. I've heard of it, never been there. Well, that's why uh, we did come out and the staff has been fantastic. Um, the food is, uh, from all accounts, you know, we've spoke to some people here and they say it's, it's really, really good. And we talked about the history a little bit here since 1918, uh, locally and uh, same location. So very important. And uh, the history here is, uh, I'm sure, we're gonna talk with Dixie Fuller here a little bit later and he's gonna fill us in on some of the uh, the owners here and uh, you know that family tree it goes it goes on down so he's got a lot of cool things to tell us about uh, this location of Zars ours so let's do it we got the hamburger traditional hamburger and then we have the cheeseburger I love cheese it's no secret so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take a bite of this big boy right here and after that we're gonna talk with Dixie Fuller and uh, he's gonna fill us in on Zars ours and and what they do here so here we go I mean, just look, look at the freaking size of this thing. It's, how am I supposed to eat all this? He don't care. He's like, you better eat it. All right, here we go. Chattanooga Burger Tour, Zars Zars. It was just walking in and seeing all of the old photographs on the walls, um, looking at the history of different parts of just life in Chattanooga or different parts, and just the small, intimate style of it. And the um, staff is excellent, con continuously walking by, asking if we're doing okay. Drinks never get empty. I ordered the cheeseburger with fries. The cheeseburger had lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayonnaise, ketchup, and it, it had the works, yes. Uh, and so what would you say to someone who you know, has never been to Zars Zars, but they're, they're thinking about coming, what would you suggest them? Absolutely do it as soon as possible. Get it on your bucket list. Welcome back to the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper. And joining me, I have the owner of Zars Zars, Joe Dixie Fuller. Now you might recognize that name because uh, he helps book the uh, musical acts for River Band all over the place. He's a Chattanooga legend. <laughs> Dixie, uh, thank you so much for joining man, us, brother. thank you for having me and thanks for coming in, man. This is fun stuff. Absolutely. So we, you just saw the pictures or the video of the burgers that we had and, and uh, I had the cheeseburger. JD had the uh, regular hamburger. The way I like mine, just plain hamburger, man. You talking about good? How about were they good? You uh, uh, well, we didn't, they didn't last long, so they're they're pretty dang good. Um, now we were talking before we had the burger, and you were talking saying that it's all about the flavor and the flavor of those burgers. And you're exactly right. I, I don't I don't know if I've tasted a hamburger like that. And 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 how it happens. And what's really unique about it is it's just a straight ahead simple hamburger there's nothing real fancy about it it's just a flat grill uh shannon doesn't you know she, that's her forte she's she's really put our burger on the map and she doesn't mash it and squeeze all the grease out of it she just lets it cook but the unique thing that she does is she always wants the mustard if you have mustard and of course you can get it any way you want it usually comes mustard mayo pickle lettuce tomato onion and uh, you can have grilled onions if you like uh, if you'd rather have that 
but she likes for the mustard to actually touch the meat. She said that that really kind of, it kind of inherits the flavor and it, and it matches. And what's really cool too is that we, we love this neighborhood and we've been here for 101 years and we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But, <laughs> 101 but, years, wow. but I laid the first Not brick. Not you personally. <laughs> I, I, laid, I laid the first brick. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, we, we get our buns from up here at Need Loves. And they're, they're a local bakery, neighborhood yeah. bakery, and, and we love buying local. We buy our ground meat fresh every morning. Uh, we don't own a can opener in this place. That's not what we're about. It's all fresh food. But she matched that bun perfectly with that meat. And that, I think that's really what gave it a whole lot of the flavor. But it really is. It's a good straight ahead hamburger. Yeah, it? it's all, and you're you exactly know? right. It's about chemistry. Yeah. Uh, whether it's on a team or, or yeah, uh, with a burger, everything has to fit. And when it does, man, it can be pretty special. Well, it is. It is. It truly is. And we've had a lot of, uh, had a lot, you know, very much like yourself. There's a lot of the, of the media wanted to come and check this darn thing out because they'd heard so much about it. But it's, you know, it's like there's nothing fancy about it. It's just good straight ahead hamburger that's all there is to it it's, it's really good stuff now you mentioned uh, earlier about the the length of time this place has been here and started in 1918 yeah and uh you, you yeah, yeah this is through your this family is, this so is tell a really, us. it's a really cool story my, my great grandfather charles abraham zarzar he came here in 1915 from syria uh, oh. zarzar's is a lebanese name uh, we never have been a Lebanese restaurant. We mother, I, I know all of her recipes, and, I, and she shared a lot of those things with me. And it's fabulous food, but it's it's not for, for Chattanooga. It's just not. It wouldn't be a big marketable item. But she she specializes in chili, and in roast, in uh, in good uh, beef stew. My great grandfather, when he first started out, now you got to understand that we're literally in the living room of a house where he raised five children, in the back of this restaurant. So we're in the back of the restaurant, 1915. And after he'd made a little bit of money, he sent after his wife. Her name was Nazira, my great grandmother. Oh, great name! Yep. And as soon as she came, she uh, be, she came uh, ill with this uh, the uh, flu epidemic of 1918. So she passed now, right after my uncle George was born, who was the baby. So there were five kids. So he started it, and he actually started out there making peanut brittle. He break peanut brittle up. Yeah, I've still got the set of scales that he used, a little brass hammer. Oh, how cool! Great. He'd sit out here on the sidewalk and he made he made peanut brittle. Had sodas, popcorn, snacks, candy bars, things like that. So he kind of that kind of evolved into my aunt Rose, who was his only as well one of only two daughters. Uh, that said, you know, uh, Daddy, we ought to make some chili, or we ought to make a hamburger, we ought to make a, a bologna sandwich. And yeah. so, all of my relatives have been in restaurant business. So anyway, he started it out, and when he passed away, he left it to my Aunt Rose and my Uncle George, and they had it up till about 1975, 76. Then my mother, Aunt Rose, willed it to my mother. So my mother had it from 1976 till 2015 when she passed, and then my wife Shannon and I took it over, and, and, we, bought, and we bought it from the estate at a very modest price, but, but we were real happy with how that all came to be, and and we want to keep this legend alive. We want to keep this icon living. It's like anybody can just say, "Well, you know, that was fun. That's the end of the ball game. We're done." Shannon's passion is this restaurant, and this is what she's always wanted to do. So, uh, I think it's that's what's important. I think that's why she was so hell bent on making that hamburger work so well. And, I mean, you know, you tell you taste it's it. working. It's it working. really is. So that's that's kind of the history, and, and I'm true fourth generation even though I'm not as active in, in the day-to-day -day operation of the restaurant, uh, but we own it together and we're just real proud to keep it alive and, and to come out with good quality food because, you know, we got, Mary does all the, the vegetables and she does a beautiful job of that and they're all fresh. And then Sherry's got her, you know, her hearts in it. She, she cooks, she can run that grill, she can run the register, she can wait tables, she can wash dishes. I mean, we wear all the hats in here. And it, but uh, it's just a fun little place now, you know, um, I love the sign on the wall that says, you know, Zars Ars with the insults are included in the price. <laughs> you have no idea what Shannon's going to say or what's going to come out of her mouth up there. But <laughs> it is a fun funny. place. And a lot of people come. We have a lot of repeat customers and a lot of people know each other. And one of the really cool things about it is sometimes if you come in and we don't have a table for you, sometimes we'll just sit you with some people that you don't know. Well, hell, by the time lunch is over, you know everybody's name and <laughs> you've made some friends. So it's it's kind of the it's the hamburger joint with kind of like cheers. Yeah. Well, you you mentioned that it's you know first of all when you walk in you you understand and you see that it's a, a mom and pop shop type of restaurant. I love that. I love that feel to it. Yeah. And you know when when you come in and you see that and 
then when you taste the burger, man, it's it's no it's no surprise to me that that you guys have have been voted best burger by you know Southern Living, or yes. you have so many repeat customers. I mean, yes, you guys are doing it right. Yeah, we are, and you know, and I think, uh, and all that stuff comes from the heart. And I, and I agree with you. When you do come through the door and you see all the pictures on the wall, and you, and it's pretty simple, and and it's 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 home cooking, and so therefore, home cooking is we've got a home a regular residential stove, we've got residential refrigerators, we don't have a commercial walk-in cooler or right. none of that stuff, which is even harder to keep alive because it eats the power and is brutal. The power bill is brutal in here. And it, you know, it's built in 1915 and a half. And so, you know, there's no insulation. So, it, you know, but so you got to stay on top of it. Uh, it's a labor of love. Right. And, you know, and, and we built a house next door here to the restaurant, which is cool. So I can literally kind of walk over here from the restaurant and, or from my house and I can do work right. at night, you know, and just kind of help do maintenance and kind of keep it up. Cause you got a place 101 years old, stuff starts going bad. <laughs> stuff starts turn, turning south on you, but no, it's a fun place. And we still get a 96 to 100 on our uh, health score. And Boom. That's very important to Shannon and it's paramount with Mary. Uh, we don't have no dirty nothing in here. Right. We, know, we know how to- uh, And people look at that stuff. Yes, they, they do, man. Yes, they, they do. do. And, 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 and that's a matter of pride with us. It really and truly is. It's a matter of pride with us because nobody wants a bad health score. Right. So, and it takes work, man. You gotta work at keeping the place up and keeping it clean and keeping it above standards, so. Uh, but it's a fun place, man. I remember when I was a kid, I'd spend the weekends here with my Aunt Rose and Uncle George. I was five or six. And I'd stay here and, and she had a little, uh, she had two divans that she would roll out. And then this was literally her living room and her bedroom at the same time. Of course, my Uncle George and my great, my, my grandfather, Abe Zarzar, they lived in the back. They had twin beds back there, but I remember a guy that used to push a tamale cart around here when I was a kid with a bell on it. And it was a tamale cart with an old black guy. And she goes, that's the best, man, Rose, that's the best tamale. And all these people, this was a very ethnic neighborhood. You had Italians, you had you know, blacks, you had Lebanese, you had Jewish folks, you had regular American, good old American folks, but everybody knew each other and everybody you know, shared in the same values. And, Everybody back here on these houses, behind these shotgun houses, <clears throat> they all heated uh, with coal. And they didn't have uh, refrigerators, you had ice box. They had a guy come here, he had a big, big old block of ice. I remember him getting that big old hook and that old donkey pulling that foot butt board back there. And I was just a kid, so what an impression that made on me for me to remember that the way that I do. So yeah, I've seen some history here, man. It's, and I've seen this whole neighborhood go extremely down and low yeah you know it was a crack district for a while and then there were prostitutes and stuff but we were we knew that eventually that the south side would, would come back oh boy and this, it's, it, it's it, coming the back the city would move this so it's an arts district now it's it's real safe there's people pushing baby carriages there's people walking their dogs and uh it's a good neighborhood and it's fun we got the big fire hall across the street but there's plenty of other restaurants too and and i love that i think the best thing for any restaurant is, is competition and so um, we're only open for lunch, which is kind of unique. We're, we're only 11 to 2, Monday through Friday. So uh, you do private parties, from what yep, I understand. Yep, we'll do some private parties. We, we don't do much out of this restaurant catering. We just don't feel like we can show you the true right. uh, depiction of what we're doing here. And so we'd rather people come here when we comes off our grill fresh. I don't want to package a bunch of it up and carry it up to Blue Cross or carry it out to yeah. Chickamauga Dam where everybody's going. I think it just it takes the food and it it, it degrades it. I think somewhat. so. So you're on social media, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, on Facebook, Shannon. I think Shannon's uh, Zarzars. It's yeah. Zarzars Cafe. There was one that was that was. There were two of them, and I think Shannon quelled one of them. But just look for Zarzars. You'll find it. And we're all over Google. You know, Google Zarzars Cafe, and it'll give you a little bit more about the history. There's some videos there too, and and now yours will be involved in it. And, and, uh, and it's just a really cool, fun place to go. Like I said, Monday through Friday, we are closed on Sunday, but we on Sunday, Shannon and I, we come in, we make chicken and dumplings, and I make homemade uh, homemade peach ice cream. I just need to come right. in on Sundays then. Yes, or, or on the <laughs> Sunday night, night, or Monday morning. <laughs> Sunday night, if you come by, you'll get to see the hell it's all made. But uh, it is, it's, it's just a fun place, and we're damn proud of it, we really are. So, uh, the most important thing, 
Tell people where you're located so they can come out and enjoy this uh, fantastic uh, restaurant and that fantastic burger. You bet. We're located in the heart of the Southside District at 1627 Rossville Avenue. The best way to find us is we're right behind the new fire hall, fire hall number one, and right next door to the church on Main. And we have free parking in the back, right behind the house. With a walk through, you can walk through what we call the Zadio, which is part of <laughs> the Zadio. Which is the Zadio attached to Zars Zars. And uh, but anyway, um, and uh, we if you have a hard time finding a place, but we'll find you a place to park. But there's always uh, there's always a seat for you here at Zars Zars. Eleven to two, Monday through Friday. Uh, a big thank you to Zarzar Shannon, uh, the whole staff here. I mean, they've been super, uh, super nice, and uh, they've they've put up with us for almost two hours <laughs> oh, man, now. That's so. great. We're glad you guys came in. A big thank you, Joe Dixie Fuller. Oh man, thank Thanks. you so much, I brother. I appreciate it, buddy. It's thank been you. it's been a blast. And Zarzar's, no doubt, one of the best burgers in Chattanooga. So make sure you get out here and check it out. Until next time, I'm the Nougat Cowboy. He's JD. Joe Dixie, Shannon, this is the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper.